Oh, can't make it up. Just took a ball off his throwing hand, obviously. Yep. Finger of his thumb. Yeah, they're just working out. Is it a, a padded ball? Yeah. Well, they were hitting grounders. Uh -huh. I mean, it happens periodically uh -huh. to guys, so they're just making sure it's nothing. Well, Snoop, whenever he's ready to play, what do you think about padding? I think it's good. Add a veteran um, guy like that that's you know can play second. He runs. He can play outfield, third. Um, no, I, I think it's a good option. You know, to just for the versatility part of it. So what were the reports on Nacho? And how eager are you? To He's been. You know, I mean, you guys were telling me how great he was doing the other day. You know, I mean, he was. <laughs> Swinging a bat really well, and, and you know, he's getting a crash course in second base right now. He said he played in high school. That He'll be fine. I mean, Walt, too, they worked him out at second all spring, you know, when they do their extra work every morning on the half fields. And so it's not, you know, the kid's got it. i just watching him. He's got good hands, a, a strong, um, uh, accurate arm. That was one thing they were telling us about. I mean, the guys like Benny Castilla used to be. He was throwing the ball, you know, right there to the first baseman. Um, yeah, he's a ball player. It, 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 you know, if they, Walt was, like I say, just doing little footwork things and the exchange and going to his left, left and, or right, right, I guess, to, for, you know, it was something he's not really used to. Um, but, and he, you know, swinging the bat pretty good. I mean, he swung the bat well in spring training, and that's always been a plus of his is the bat to ball thing, you know, that he has. And he's been hitting with some power from AAA and stealing bases. Right in. Yeah. Well, I just figure it's better to, I mean, put him in amongst the, the guys and, and, you know, and, um, yeah, I mean, he's, he's been hot, so why not? Well, he seems like, Nacho seems like a really kind of a personable, confident guy. Very much. He, he's a really um, engaging kid and, and um, sharp and, uh, you know, he's just, he's a fun guy to be around, but and I think he's got a lot of confidence in his game. And and um, uh, like I say, I mean, it's like you know, guys start playing well in Triple H. We did the same thing with Austin. He kind of got hot, and we put him in the outfield. You know, the that one year. And um, so you know, situation is a situation like this. Somebody goes down, it's good. We can pull up one of our guys and get a look at him. A fracture can be means so, so many things. Do you hear anything on Ozzy? Will he need surgery? What's the plan? Well, no, right now, no. I mean, they casted him up. It's clean. You know, I think the hope is, is it doesn't move in the next couple of weeks to require surgery. That would be the best outcome. Um, <clears throat> and so we'll just, you know, we'll see. They'll, I know they'll probably x-ray him once a week or something like that. I don't know. And just because it's pretty clean. I saw the x-ray. It's, you know, amazing. Really, um, poor kid. You know, I feel terrible for him. Um, but you know, just hope for the best and the shortest recovery time. A lot of times when you do that, it's ligament or whatever. But this was bone. This is a bone. Yeah, I mean, it it's clean too. Looking at it, just kind of a freak thing, really. I mean, guys get hit, but you know, they get jammed up. And I just saw the re you know, I was watching the replay and didn't look to be that um, extensive, really. Um, but must have hit just right. That's unlike Garcia last year. This was more just a hairline thing, right? Yeah. He got back in yeah. No, this is legit. Yeah. Uh, on the pitching side of things, with Max being out right now, should we expect to see a, a potentially like rotating door yep. in those last few spots? I, I, I think absolutely, yeah, right now. I mean, because we're going to need a couple of spots in the middle of the week just to fill in and, and help out. So I, I there's, well, that's what will happen. It's Is just. Any uh, ideal spot process when it comes to Reynaldo or Chris or trying to get extra days here and there? Well, we're, you know, I think it's still going to work out to where the way this thing's going to work is they're going to get that and just out of normal type where that fifth spot falls. A lot of times, so um, yeah. I mean, we're still going to try and do that, but I think it's going to be more out of necessity. They're, you know, they're going to get it out of necessity as much as anything. With a, with a, rested, with a fairly rested bullpen, which has been the, the first half of the season, with how well these starters have thrown and deepened the games, 
Is it time to almost think about like, all right, second half of the season, we're going to empty the tank here and really lean on this bullpen maybe more? Yeah, and, and, and you know what? And telling the guys, you know, when they come in and, and like all you guys do, you come in and say, I'm, I can go. And it's like, I'm glad you can because we're at some point in time, once we get past the break or whatever, you, we, you may have to get roughed up a little bit. And that's why we don't try – we try not to do it that first three months or so because down the road when these games, you know, get a little more hairy that you may have to do the three out of fours and, and things like that more. And if – you know what? If they do their part and they're efficient with the pitches, then we're able to do that. If they have rough innings, then obviously we can't do that. You've managed through adversity – Obviously, before you, and you've never been a woe is me guy, but I think five of the ten starters from opening day have missed significant time this year. Has this been the most challenging? Season? Yeah, it's been very challenging. It, this year's been something else. I mean, they all are. I say none, none of these seven month seasons are ever easy. You go through, I don't care, in the 100 win seasons that we've had, it's been, you know, you look back and it's like, wow. It, it, you know, you think you win 100 games, it's going to be smooth. It's never, or never is. This thing is never smooth. It's never easy. You're, you're, have to battle through adversity a lot. Um, and this has been very challenging this year. Anything else? All right. Okay, thank you. Ronaldo, these last two starts, have you felt any differently? Because you've given up more hits than you were given up. Has that just been more the opponent than you? Uh, no, o sea, me, me he sentido bien. Eh, eh, creo que eso es lo más importante de todo. Eh, sí, me han dado, sabe, un poco, me han dado más hit. Eh, pero, pero eh, no, sabe, me siento, me siento igual tratando de, de ejecutar mi picheo y haciendo todo. Y imagínate, yo. Eh, eh, son bateadores tratando de, 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 sabe, de hacer hombre. No, uh, I, I felt good and, and healthy, and you know, I think ultimately that's the most important thing. Um, but yeah, uh, I felt the same, and you're right that you know, I've, I've given up more hits, um, so I've been going in with the same approach, you know, just trying to execute my pitches. Um, just like you said, been giving up the hits, but I, I feel good. Fatigue. You've been any starter with this time of year. Like you feel comparable, right? You know, a month or two ago. Uh, sabes, sí. Hasta ahora me siento, hasta ahora me he sentido bien. No he sentido ningún eh, estrés en el brazo, eh, ni fatiga tampoco. Eh, pero eh, sí, lo sabes. Me he sentido bien y, y, y o sea, lo importante es que he eh, eh, tratado de completar los lo, lo seis innings en la dos última salida que no me ha ido muy bien. Eh, y sabes le he dado chance al, al eh, a que no usan no usen tanto el bullpen sino trata de 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 sabe de tirar seis seis eh, in, eh, en el juego yeah I mean up to this point I felt good you know this whole season um, I haven't felt like there's been any stress or fatigue on my arm um, and ultimately you know I, it, I I'm happy that I was able to at least cover the six innings. Um, you know, I think that's always a big objective for me is to just not tax the bullpen and be able to get through the six innings and give the team a chance and, and uh, like I said, not have to go into the bullpen too early. They're pretty aggressive on the base pass. How did that affect you, if at all, the Reds? Que este bastante agresivo, este corriendo las bases, que si eso te afectó en una manera. Eh, sí, sabes, es un equipo muy, muy, muy agresivo. Eh, todito corren, eh, sabiendo de que si te dan un hit van a crecer los dobles o triples, eso pasa en el, en el primer línea. Pero, eh, sabes, uno le presta un poquito más de, de tener un, po un poquito más de cuidado con ellos también. Pero no, no que me haya afectado eh, mucho, pero sí, eh, sí lo tengo en la mira, sabes, como que, que sé que todito corren y trato de... de eh, de tratar de que no, no corran tanto, aunque eso no pasó hoy, pero ellos es un equipo muy muy agresivo corriendo la base. Yeah, they're an aggressive team and uh, it feels like everybody on that team can run. Um, and I think they all have the ability to turn a single into a double, a double into a triple. You know, we saw that in the, in the first inning today. Um, and so 
it, it affected me a little bit in the sense where I think I was keeping, you know, my eyes on him, you know, and I was mindful of it. But other than that, not much more. Um, just, just, but just knowing the fact that they are an aggressive team and all of them can run, you know, so it's in the back of your mind. Ellie De La Cruz seems like to the naked eye, just watching looks faster than everybody else on the field. Does it feel like that when you, when you're facing him that he's just a little bit faster than everyone else? Yo creo que él, él eh, eh, sabe, él tiene tremendo talento. Eh, ya conoce lo, o sea, entrado un poco con él en el, en el, en el juego de estrella, pero sí, sí es, es tremendo jugador y, y, y creo que el tamaño también lo ayuda, aparte de que él es rápido, nada más tiene que dar tres pasos y llega a segunda y tres pasos y llega a tercera. Creo que esa es una de las mejores habilidades que él tiene. No, he's a, he has, he's a tremendous talent. Um, and I was able to talk with him a little bit uh, during the All-Star break. And um, yeah, I mean, he's just a tremendous player. And even to that point, uh, I just think his size even helps him with his speed. You know, it feels like he takes three steps and he's at first, then another three steps and he's at second. Um, so I feel like that only really helps him with, with his base running.